Hey, Mary Dalton's here from the Missoula Asian Services. She's an ombudsman. 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 What is that? What's yeah, an ombudsman? Yeah, ombudsman. That's actually um, a really great question. Ombudsman is kind of a funny word, and it actually means representative. Oh, okay. And it, it's a Swedish word, um, way back from the 1800s, and it just means representative. So my title is long-term care ombudsman, which means I'm a representative for those people who live in long-term care. And I would like to um, just mention that Missoula Aging Services, the Ombudsman Program, is one of many programs at Missoula Aging Services. And our mission is to promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. Yeah, and so this month is Re Residence Rights Month. And so what does that entail? What is Resident that Rights Month. So Resident Rights Month is, to, is celebrated every October. And it's a, a time to celebrate um, people who live in long-term care, which is assisted living or skilled nursing facility. And it's just a time to honor those people who live in long-term care. And this month's theme is My Vote Matters. So it's, it's a time to really focus on the rights of residents and to shine a light that they still have that right to vote, even though um, they live in a long-term care facility. So regardless of where a person lives or what kind of care that they're getting, they still retain that right to vote. And so what is the percentage of older adults voting, like seniors, like in residence life houses? Mm -hmm. Well, I do know that in long-term care, there is a, a decreased number of people that do vote okay. as opposed to people in their same age category that, that live um, independently out in the community. And I think that partly the reason for that is there's there's barriers to that. Um, once a person is in long-term care, maybe they don't have transportation, maybe no one helps them to register, maybe no one helps them to get an absentee ballot, um, or maybe no one asks them if they want to vote. Interesting. So, yeah, um, uh, my favorite thing about, um, I mean like, I don't like, I really don't like absentee ballots personally because I like to actually go out and do the voting and when I always go out to the, see the voting you always see a lot of seniors like being judges and like help you uh, um, vote mm -hmm. as yeah. well. It's, it's just like really cute, adult, uh, really cute elderly folks. <laughs> like the old woman's like, oh grandma, this yeah. is my grandma. <laughs> and it's always great, you know, like I, I always like, um, seeing people out and about, um, especially the elderly. Yeah, yeah. and in, in Missoula, we have a lot of people that live in our assisted living communities and our long-term care communities that have made big contributions to the community and really you know, put a lot into that. And so it's, this is a way to honor what they have done and to recognize that they're still part of the community and that their vote does matter. And it's really important for them to be validated in that way, to feel like that's I totally agree. Mm -hmm. I think that's like one of the great things about being a United States citizen is that we do get to vote mm -hmm. and that we get to vote starting 18 for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important for older adults to still feel like they have that like mm -hmm. signal and symbol of independence. Right. And so right. what can the community do to kind of help this residence rights mm -hmm. movement? Yeah, well, I would encourage people if you know someone who lives in long term care or if you just like to stop by and visit and um, engage people in conversations about the political process. A lot of people um, you know, have a lot of historical underpinnings and they would have references you know, back to prior elections. Also, you know, it hasn't been that long ago that women weren't allowed to vote and minorities weren't allowed to vote. So you know, engaging them in those conversations and talking about that and you know, current events talking about what's going on in the paper with the elections and I think that that's just a really great way to honor the residents and to reaffirm that they still do have you know all of those rights all of their civil and constitutional rights even though they're living in long-term care cool. And so where can people find out more information about you guys? Um, we do have a website, missoulaagingservices.org, and we are on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and you know, it would be really great if people um, could share those social media um, resident rights information. Mm -hmm. It's another uh, great way to participate. That's awesome. Is there anything else that we should know about Residence Rights Month? Um, I think that just, you know, knowing that people in long-term care, um, they don't lose any of their civil or constitutional rights. They still have um, rights, rights to privacy, rights to independent choices. Um, and, you know, as the Ombudsman Program, I'm an advocate for people who are in long-term care. And so I go into the assisted livings and the nursing homes and let residents right, know that they do still retain all of those rights and just help to empower them to exercise those rights. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, it's important. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else? I, I think that's it. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we'll be right back after this, everyone. <laughs>